Hey everyone, Edward here at Windows Report and in this video I will show you how to fix the GPU when it keeps crashing or freezing on Windows 11 in no time. So the first solution that you should always take in consideration is to update DirectX. Now to do this first of all we have to check what kind of DirectX version you have. So to do this press the Windows button then simply type dxdag and then select it as a run command from the search results. Now in here in the system information category the last input is the DirectX version and if it's DirectX 12 then you're good to go. If not make sure to simply update it in this manner. Close this window then press on the start button then click on the settings icon and afterwards select the windows update option on the left pane and then click on the check for updates button on the right side. Now wait until windows will find the latest updates for your PC and then download and install them automatically. You can then restart your computer and check if the problem still persists. Moving on, another useful solution is to update the graphics driver. Now there's many ways to do this. And the first one is to right click the windows button then select device manager from the list of options. Now in here in the device manager window make sure to expand display adapters then right click on the problematic device and select the update driver option. Now just click on search automatically for drivers and Windows will try to find the best drivers for this device on your PC. Then if it's installed you can restart your computer and check if the problem still persists. Another solution is to install these drivers from the manufacturer's website. Now to do this open up your default browser and simply access the link that I posted in the description below. From here on make sure to choose your product type and series and as well the operating system and then click on the search button. Now once the driver was found, just make sure to click on the green download button, choose a location on your computer, preferably on the desktop, then click on the save button. Now wait until the download will be finished and afterwards you can proceed by double clicking and installing these drivers. This is super simple, just follow the on-screen instructions and you're good to go. Another great method is to use DriverFix which is a free updater application for Windows. So basically DriverFix scans your whole system and then searches the web for the most recent drivers. And from there on you can choose to update the drivers you need manually or all at once if you upgrade to the pro version. So make sure to check it out and get it for free by accessing the link in the description below. And lastly another useful solution is to run an SFC scan. Now to do this press the windows button, type in cmd and then run command prompt as an administrator. In here in the command prompt window make sure to type the following command. Now press on enter and wait a bit because the scan will take some time and afterwards after the scan is complete restart your computer and then check if the problem still persists. And that's it. Super simple isn't it? Of course if you enjoyed this video make sure to hit the like button and please subscribe to our channel for more quality content. Thank you.